Hello everyone. We will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and we are making a report. We are developing a report which is using the SAP ABAP new syntax. We have written the open SQL queries by using the new features. We use the inline data declaration. We used the table expression. We used the value operator. Now we will go for most important understanding and it is fully explained in the previous cases also. But now still the so many queries are coming. Why I have put a loop on VBAK? Can we put a loop on VBAP so that we can avoid the nested loops? In which scenario you have to go for this? In which scenario you can put a loop on VBAP? One thing, one golden line. If it is compulsory, it is mandatory that for every sales order, there is an item data. It means what? If you have a sales order one in VBAK table, it means compulsory there is a item data of sales order one in the VBAP table. You can put a loop on VBAP table you can read the VBAK table, no problem. Because in VBAK, you know you have single record for a sales order number. Whenever you have a single record, you can go for read table. Now we know the table expression, we can go for table expression. Now, if customer is saying no, it is not mandatory that Every sales order has items at the initial level. We might add at later stage also. In that case, you can never, never put a loop on VBAP as it will result into data loss. Suppose simple example, I work in a project. There we have the concept of draft sales order. At that time, they are going for draft sales order for a customer. But customer later adds the add the line items to that sales order. It means at the initial level, only the header data is there for the sales order. Item data is not there for the sales order. If item data is not there, then how we can put a loop on VBAP? I'll just explain. We will go for detailed explanation. Why, why, or in which scenario? We should go for loop on VBAK. In which scenario we should go for loop on VBAP? Yes, maximum projects. It is the case that for every sales order, we already have the item data. But in some or few customers, this is not the case now. Suppose if rather than this, I can write like this also. Suppose if the item data is always, always there for a sales order. So I can write like this also. Loop at LTVBAP into LWAVBAP. Now, rather than loop on this, now I will simply go for table expression of read table. Sorry, table expression of VBA. Now I will go for this. You all know we need to go for line exist. I will write LT underscore VBAK. Now here I will write VBELN is equal to LWAVBAP VBELN. Now I will go for this also. Data LWA underscore VBAK is equal to now I will simply simply copy paste. So you can see we are avoiding the nested loops, but the prerequisite is yes. There must be item data at the initial level. Now I will go for this. Now end loop is not required. Two loops are not required. I'll check the syntax. So I'll just comment this part. Otherwise it will go for duplicate data declarations. Okay, 
I think I need to go for and if also if line exists for this. Okay. Now I will check the syntax. We'll close here itself. Everything together, both and if. I'll go for syntax check. And now I will activate. So if line is not existing in VBAK, we are not going for even MAKT. Now just see how it will work. Now customer is saying item data is always, always there. So we put a loop on VBAP and yes, we got the or we have written the logic. Now there is no nested loop. Now if I will show you the result, you can see if I will put that date. Suppose I will go for 22nd August, which I explained in the previous video. I will go for desktop three, most preferable desktop. If we will execute this, if I will put a breakpoint and come on to this, you can see in LT underscore output, we got same to same five records. Everything is perfectly fine. 74, 75, 76. Now I will come on to the reverse scenario. Now, I will go for, suppose, now I will choose a date, okay, for which the item data is not there in VBAP. This is your VBAK table. This is 20th August, 22nd August. Now, this 117 sales order number, it is of what date? 21st August. Now, if I will show you VBAP table, this is your VBAP table. In this VBAP table, we do not have the data of 117. Okay, now I will show you how your logic will behave now. I am going for 21st August. Because we put a loop on now on VBAP. I will go to execute. Just see, we will get a wrong output. Or we will not get anything. Just see, in LTVBAP, zero. Okay, suppose I will choose one more day. 21st August to 22nd August. I will go to desktop three, most preferable desktop. You can see in this LTVBAP internal table, you have five records. But do you have 117? 117 will not be there because there is no item data. Now question comes here. In this LTVBAK, you have 117. Now just think, you have put a loop on LTVBAP. So it will process 74, 75, 76. Will it process your 117? It will never, never process your 117. Just see if I will put a breakpoint and come here. I am doing F8. Now you can see in LT output, you have 74, 75, 76. Do you have 117 in the output? We do not have 117 in the output and customer will say why it is not coming in the output because header data is there. Yes, header data is there for this 117. So it is totally depends upon the customer requirement. Yes, yes, that is true that in maximum projects, whenever we are creating sales order, items are always there. But in few projects, yes, it is not mandatory that item data is there at the initial level. And if customer is saying, okay, I want those records in the output. Okay, items are not there. That's a different thing. But I want in the output. Why they are not coming in the output? So in that case, you can never, never put a loop on LDVBAP. You need to come on to this particular loop. 
you need to put a loop on VBAK. Now just see if I will uncomment this logic. Extremely important understanding because it, to today's date also people have so many confusions. We need to put a loop on item. We need to put a loop on header. What? Suppose I'm uncommenting this. I will go for activation. Now, if I will simply, simply put a breakpoint here, then I will come to solution also. Here also, we will not get the output, but at least we buy code changes, we will get. If I will go to desktop three, most preferable desktop. Now you can see in this internal table, okay, we have 117. At least in the outer loop, we have 117. If the outer loop has 117, can we go for displaying of 117? Yes, that is possible. That is possible. So that's why just understand what customer want, what is the customer requirement. Check with functional. If functional is saying no, it's always mandate that we will put the items while creating the sales order. Then why unnecessary nested loop? No problem. You can put a loop on LTVB AP. If customer is saying, if functional is saying no, we have a concept of draft sales order. It might be the case we do not have line items at the initial level. We might add it later. Then in that case, never put a loop on item because items are not there at all. So in that case, you need to put a loop on header. Then you need to go for 